Welcome to the Gimmick 2 True Secret Ending Guide. I'm going to show you every single location to get the stickers. And at the beginning, I'll show you the location with a description on how to get to the gate. And then I'm just going to go quiet and show you some of the gameplay on how to clear that specific part of the level. Now, mind you, you are going to have to have a pretty good grasp of the Gimmick 2 mechanics. And you're going to be able to feel comfortable with wall bouncing the star because a lot of these trials i'll call them are going to need that you're going to need to be able to bounce the star off the wall and have the right proper momentum to clear enormous gaps so good thing that gimme 2 has quick respawn rates because you're going to be doing it a lot some of these can get quite brutal so without further ado let's start with stage one at the end of stage one you're going to go through some caves and you're going to exit out into a forest with these kirby wannabe characters I'm not sure why they're not attacking me. It might be because I actually haven't killed one of them, or it might be the skin. Uh, it's unclear. But you can use them to get a little bit of extra height when you jump. And then up there in the tree canopy, above the tree canopy, is the gate to the first trial. This one is going to teach you all about wall bouncing. So if you're having struggles with this one, really perfect this skill because it will come in handy for every single trial coming up. Now with stage 2 onwards, each level is going to have two stickers to find. Towards the end of stage 2, you're going to come across this little lake with pink moving platforms. Take the frog, use the star to get up into the platform and carry it with you to this moving platform section. From here, you're going to want to put that frog into that elevated platform in the middle of the room. Feel free to use the star, not that you'll need it. But you want to put it towards the edge of the platform and with the height that you get from the star boost from the frog, that shall take you to the second sticker. The second sticker of the jungle level is like pretty much towards the end of the level during this giant statue right there. You can do that star trick which I just did which is a lot harder or you can keep playing through the level and activating this switch will move the statue to the left which makes it a lot easier because you don't have to deal with star momentum and you can just easily platform your way to the third sticker. For the next sticker, it is before checkpoint 2 of the third level. Throw this star and use the momentum to help you carry it across this gap. You'll be able to know where that gap is. It's like a pretty blatant direction. Um, this is one of the easier sticker levels because it does have a lot of checkpoints. I think the hard part about this can be this tube right here. Sometimes if you don't throw the star with enough momentum, the star will be ejected out with not enough force to push you up to the top platform. But don't worry, as long as you stay on top of the pipe, you will have plenty of opportunities to get back up. Thank you. 
eventually in stage 3 you're gonna come across an entrance to an ice castle. You can either climb this castle normally or if you're feeling confident with your star jumps you can just wall bounce off this. But either way you will still need to be competent with the star bounces off the wall because we're gonna be scaling this ice castle. When you exit it through a regular climb through the castle or the way that I did it in the video you're still gonna need to bounce off of this wall right here. If you hit the angled wall, the momentum stops dead in its tracks, so you have to hit the star just right. Use that momentum to let it carry you to the top of the castle, and from there you'll find the last sticker for this level. This one's going to be towards the end of checkpoint 1 section. You're going to do a high dive so you get enough momentum to go under the water and underneath that column. Use the star to lower the water level, but don't recall the star. Climb up and continue as normally. And then from here you're going to do a leap of faith into this hidden wall. And then boom, first sticker for stage 4. checkpoint 3 in stage 4 and you're going through the castle you're going to come to this area where you need to activate these um, treadmills I guess and on top of it there's going to be a nice little frog make sure to catch him before he falls through if he falls through no worries it's just restart from checkpoint bring him back to the checkpoint area let him shoot you through this hidden wall in the ceiling and that is going to be sticker 2 for stage 4 
This next sticker is right after, shortly after checkpoint two, and I think it's one of the harder ones to get to. You're gonna have to time your jumps just right so this star can go right through and build enough momentum. Because if you hit that angle, you cannot jump up further. This is also probably one of the harder trials to complete. This took me probably about an hour and a half to do just because I was still getting used to wall bouncing. And you also have to deal with crumbling blocks. So this, don't get discouraged. I know you can do it. Just take your time. Uh, this part right here, I really took my time with it. So if it's sped up a little bit, I didn't want you guys to just me test this out this is just me trying to figure out a safe spot where i can just go through and not do that all over again You can't miss this one. This one's right at the beginning of checkpoint four. Jump and then use that momentum to ride the star. It'll hit that platform, hit the wall and bounce back. If you do it well and it's got enough momentum, the blast won't affect you at all. Just make sure to jump at the right time. This is probably tied for, well, these are the last level trials. So this one and the one before are pretty hard. Just be confident in your shots. And that's all I can say. Like, if you commit, you have to commit with the momentum. If you half-ass it, you're probably going to fall short every single time. Congratulations, you have all the stickers to get the true ending. And I'll mind you, the tribulations do not stop there because that last level gets extended by a lot and it challenges you even further on your star skills. So, regardless, be proud of what you did, but just do know that the challenges are still waiting for you. If you found this guide helpful at all, please consider leaving a like. If you need any help at all, leave it in the comments. I'm always open to questions. And yeah, thanks again to the publisher for giving me key early, and I'm hoping that you are enjoying Gimmick 2 as much as I am. Homies, thanks a bunch. I'll catch you in the next video.